let's look at AI because specifically the risk that could lead to the extinction of humans. Are we on the brink of creating our extinction? Top AI leaders are sounding the alarm, saying that the unchecked development of AI poses a threat to human civilizations as severe as nuclear war or even pandemics. As AI keeps getting smarter and faster, people are getting more worried about it going beyond our control. These experts warn that without careful regulations, AI could evolve in ways we can't predict or manage, leading to dire consequences. How did we reach this point, and what can we do to prevent this disaster? Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI who created ChatGPT and Geoffrey Hinton, the man nicknamed the godfather of AI for his work, have gotten hundreds of other top experts and leaders to co-sign an alarming statement. So what's got them so spooked? Well, in their own words, they believe that mitigating the risk of AI actually driving humanity to extinction needs to become a global priority alongside other societal scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. Let that sink in for a moment. The people with the deepest understanding of this powerful technology are saying it poses an existential risk to the entire human species. The statement warns that we all need to be on the same page about just how dangerous advanced AI could be if it continues developing unchecked. We're talking CEOs of AI companies like Anthropic and DeepMind, top professors at Harvard, MIT and Oxford, and executives at Microsoft and Google, all basically raising a sign of danger. And here is the really crazy part, this is the second major warning like this in just months. The first one was signed by Elon Musk and Steve Wozniak earlier this year, but this latest letter, it's coming from the AI community itself. Can you imagine how terrifying it must be for the people who have spent their entire careers pioneering a technology to suddenly be forced to realize it could potentially destroy the very civilization they're working to uplift? Back in March, Elon Musk from Tesla and Steve Wozniak from Apple signed a letter saying we should pause developing AI even further for six months. Over 31,000 experts agreed with them, and their main worry was, AI is getting so smart so quickly that it could outsmart humans and basically make us useless. It's a rather scary thought, right? The letter asked if we should really risk losing control like that. And it's not just Hinton. Joshua Bengio, a Canadian computer scientist, also signed on, warning about the dangers here. This new warning letter is trying to get everyone on the same page. Policymakers, journalists, you name it about just how risky AI development could get down the road. The whole thing is pretty wild when you think about it. So now the big debate is how to guide AI safely while still allowing its immense potential benefits. It's not an easy line to walk, but getting it right may determine the fate of our entire species going forward. First off, the experts are worried that as AI gets more and more advanced, the wrong kinds of people could use it as a weapon. Instead of AI helping scientists discover new medicine, someone could hijack it to create chemical weapons to hurt people. Terrifying, right? But it gets even wilder. They think AI could potentially be used to spread misinformation and fake news on a massive scale. Imagine an AI so smart that it could make up totally convincing lies and false stories to confuse everyone and tear societies apart. Another nightmare scenario, a small group, maybe a company, a country, or even just a few people could gain control over super powerful AI. With that much AI might at their fingertips, they could enforce their twisted rules through constant surveillance and harsh censorship of anyone who disagrees. But hang on, because the most disturbing idea of all is something they call enfeeblement. Basically, they think humans could go it so lazy and dependent on AI doing everything for us that would become completely useless. Like those blobbly people in WALL-E who just lays around all day while robots take care of them. With all these potential world-ending scenarios on the table, it's no surprise that some AI pioneers are speaking out loudly. Hinton in particular is doubling down on earlier warnings he made, saying, we need to treat the AI threat as urgently as possible. Bengio, who teaches computer science in Montreal, is another prominent voice backing these concerns about AI development. The big question now is whether the world will listen before it's too late. On one side, you've got groups like the Center for AI Safety hitting the panic button hard. But then you've got other experts who think these fears are simply unrealistic. Arvind Narayanan from Princeton thinks current AI is still way too basic and limited to ever pose that kind of existential threat anytime soon. He's more worried about how AI systems today already show unfair biases and flaws that discriminate against certain groups of people in the society. 
Elizabeth Renuris, an AI ethics expert from Oxford, believes the clear and present danger is how AI automation can massively amplify and spread discriminatory decision-making that ignores vulnerable communities. Renuris thinks AI could also drive an insane surge of misinformation that's impossible to stop, essentially fracturing reality itself by breaking our shared grasp on truth. Her perspective becomes particularly fascinating when she explains how AI models soak up a lot of human knowledge and creativity from the internet. Our text, art, music, you name it. By absorbing all that data, private tech giants have pirated an immense amount of public wealth for their gain and power. So in her view, we're not just talking about biased AI spreading inequality. The rise of this tech has given the power to influence in the hands of a few big companies, and that sounds like a movie, doesn't it? The Center for AI Safety says tackling today's bias issues could help prevent those nightmarish long-term scenarios too. Their director, Dan Hendricks, sees it as a continuum. The better we get AI ethics right now, the easier it will be to steer clear of existential crises down the road. There's no doubt, everyone agrees AI is one of the most revolutionary technologies ever created. It opens endless doors while also launching us into a minefield with all sorts of risks that need to be navigated responsibly. Folks behind ChatGPT are also floating the idea of needing an international atomic energy agency, but for super intelligent AI efforts instead of news. Sam Altman from OpenAI and Sonar Pichai from Google have secretly met with the UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak to discuss potential AI regulations. So, world leaders are taking this existential AI risk seriously behind closed doors. When confronted about these warnings, Rishi tried playing both sides. First, he pointed to the benefits AI has brought such as helping paralyzed folks walk again and discovering new meds. But then he flipped the script, stressing that guardrails and proper oversight are absolutely crucial to keep us safe from whatever apocalyptic AI dangers could come. Sunak has already kicked things off by discussing potential AI rules and restrictions with other role leaders at the recent G7 Summit of Nations. He plans to take this conversation to the next level on a trip to the United States soon. What exactly will those guardrails and AI regulations look like? This idea comes from the largest survey of its kind involving 2,700 AI researchers who recently presented at some AI conference. They were asked about future AI milestones and their potential societal impacts, and shockingly, nearly 58% of these experts believe there is at least a 5% chance that AI could lead to human extinction or other devastating consequences. It's quite telling that most AI researchers don't find it far-fetched that advanced AI could potentially destroy humanity, says Katja Grace from the Machine Intelligence Research Institute in California. The fact that there is a general belief in a significant risk is more important than the exact percentage. But should we panic? Emil Torres at Case Western Reserve University in Ohio advises against it. According to Torres, many AI experts haven't been particularly accurate in forecasting future AI developments. Grace and her colleagues acknowledge that AI researchers aren't necessarily experts in predicting AI's future path. But they do agree that a 2016 version of their survey did a fairly good job forecasting AI milestones. Interestingly, responses from a 2022 version of the same survey show that many AI researchers now expect AI to hit certain milestones earlier than they previously predicted. Weirdly enough, this change in outlook coincides with the November 2022 release of ChatGPT and Silicon Valley's rapid push to deploy similar AI chatbot services. Experts warn that no matter what goals we set for them, powerful AI systems are likely to follow certain predictable patterns. They'll seek more resources to achieve their objectives, resist shutdown attempts, and strive to keep their goals unchanged, making it hard to tweak them once they are up and running. To put it bluntly, even AI that seems harmless now might start acting unpredictably as it gets more powerful. Many researchers compare developing AI to launching a rocket. Elon Musk takes it a step further, saying it's like summoning a demon. The main idea is that once we have a general AI, our ability to control it will be very limited. So, we need to do all the steering work before the AI even exists. It's crucial to start addressing these challenges now, ensuring that the powerful AI of tomorrow works for us, not against us. While the potential risks are alarming, do you think we are ready to take on this challenge? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below, subscribe to stay connected with us, see you in the next one!